We're on your side with tonight's cover story. Parents, it is that time of year again. In a little more than two weeks, more than 140,000 Charlotte Mecklenburg students will get out of school. So with school wrapping up, summer camps become the place to be. But before sending your child, you want to make sure the camp is a right fit. So how do you do that? What questions should you be asking? Tonight, our Brandon Hamilton is getting the answers you need. The summertime means kids out of school and a chance for your child to enroll at a summer camp. What should parents be looking for? One, to find that perfect summer camp, and two, even if, you know, summer camp is even for their child. Absolutely. Uh, you know, in this time, as our kids have come out of this pandemic and everything with uh, some academic and uh, developmental delays, let's say, there's an oppor opportunity during the summer months to, to be a part of a summer learning program like camp where they can uh, try new things and take positive risks and uh, really uh, have some time to think and be curious about what they learned in school during the year and have expanded learning around those kinds of things. What is the benefit for the child um, going to a camp? Wow, your camp is right now coming out of this pandemic. It, I think parents and educators and leaders all can see that every single child in our country deserves to have an essential education and developmental experience at a camp this summer. Um, for them, that provides them an opportunity to create social connections with their peers in an informal atmosphere, right? Much more informal than the classroom where they can feel supported by their peers. They feel safe, uh, emotionally safe and physically safe. And um, that all unlocks their ability to try hard things and fun things and be inspired for different possibilities. And they may have even imagined were possible before. American Camp Association President and CEO Tom Rosenberg says it's important to find the right camp to help your child grow. And if I'm a parent and I'm trying to find that right camp, what are the questions I should be asking? Well, first of all, ask. Uh, it's important to know uh, whether that camp is following like the national standards of the field. So ask if it's an American Camp Association accredited camp. That is a parent's assurance in ev all 50 states that a camp is meeting the foundational standards of the uh, camping field. So that, that means that they've uh, voluntarily participating in an educational program, looking at every aspect of camp, like program and how you hire HR, um, uh, the site and facilities and how they're maintained, how the food is um, handled, uh, health care, and um, many other risk management types of considerations. What else should you be asking? According to the ACA, what is the camp's philosophy and program emphasis? What is the camp director's background? What training do counselors receive? What is the counselor to camper ratio? We also went to Danielle Kelly, a pediatric nurse practitioner at Novant Health, Dilworth Pediatrics, for her advice. Parents, what should you be asking? Parents should ask, um, you know, uh, what ratios are for supervision, um, what activities are going to be going on at camp, you know, is there swimming involved, you know, know what your child's swimming ability is, um, you know, what is the health care available at camp, um, is there an infirmary or a nurse center, is there a nurse that's at camp all the time, um, who's going to be in charge if something goes wrong, um, is the camp equipped to deal with a child? special health care needs. Before you pack the bag to send your kids off, there are things you want to check, such as how often sunscreen is applied and access to emergency medications. And then the other thing I would just encourage parents before they send a whole first aid kit and medications and everything like that, they check with the camp because a lot of those things aren't allowed or they're taken away from kids. And to keep kids safe, other children shouldn't necessarily have access to it. And then the other thing I would say would be to just make sure a lot of camps require a physical and parents are reaching out to their child's primary care provider early to get the, those completed. And so if they need prescription medications at camp, some camps require special pharmacies and things like that. And parents, if you're worried about paying for camp, Rosenberg says to start looking early. There are options available. It does take time to apply for assistance, um, but it's definitely worthwhile asking each and every program, uh, you know, uh, I'm on a budget. I only can afford this much. Can you help me get my child to your wonderful camp? Reporting in Charlotte, Brandon Hamilton for On Your Side Tonight. Uh, Brandon, thank you. And parents, you can find more information about camps, including a check on which in our area are accredited right now on our website. Just head to WBTV.com.